Ugh, it's, uh, it's really pretty. Hey guys, it's me Anne, and this is Beauty With Me. I don't know about you guys, but I am obsessed with finding out what other people are buying. I thought it might be fun to find out what the best sellers are at different retailers, try them out, and see if they're actually worth all the hype. Before we get started, please make sure you are subscribed down below. Click the red button so we can hang out every Monday. So we are starting today with Amazon. I reached out to Amazon earlier this week and got a definitive list of all of their best-selling makeup. So obviously we're gonna start with foundation. The best-selling foundation is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. Doesn't have a ton of coverage, but the actual application of it feels really nice. It's interesting because on my cheeks, it looks really natural and then near my nose, it's starting to look a little cakey. That might have been an application mistake on my part. Looking at this side by side, it did a very good job of smoothing over my pores. So I definitely think that my pores are much more visible on the side that I'm not wearing foundation. Moving right along, the best-selling concealer on Amazon is the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer. So it comes out in like a brush applicator. I really like the texture of that. Good coverage. I think it like slides onto the skin really nicely. I like it. All right, so to set my face, I'm gonna use the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. I've like never put powder on with a puff before. I feel so Marie Antoinette. That's what happens when you use a puff that's so fun. You just like go on and on and on and you just, <clears throat> I'm baking it. I put a lot of powder on my face just now, but it doesn't look cakey. It actually looks really nice. All right, so moving on to blush. The best-selling blush on Amazon is, drum roll, Milani Baked Blush. This is a very popular item. I have the shade Luminoso, which is arguably the most popular shade. So pigmented. It has like a really pretty luminous, well, it is called Luminoso, but it has like a really pretty iridescence running through it that I think is actually a very welcome addition to this look, considering that I just really powdered my face. Like, it's so matte right now. So next up is bronzer, and the best-selling bronzer on Amazon is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, which I dropped and broke, so you could probably see it. Ooh. It'll still work. It smells like sunscreen. <sighs> it smells really good. There are a few other shades that are in this lineup, but this one's nice because it's kind of a cool, more cooler tone bronzer, so you can kind of sculpt with it. Although I will say it's a pretty sheer formula. All right, so next up is highlighter, and this Maybelline strobing stick is the shade Light. And this is a very, very pretty highlighter. Like, look at it. It's so almost metallic. Unlike a lot of cream highlighters that have a very dewy, almost wet look, this one, it almost feels cream to powder. Like, it doesn't have that slickness that others have. So, I think a lot of the products that I just used, I wasn't all that surprised that they were the popular, like, best sellers on Amazon. But this product, the Wonder 2 One Step Brow Gel, I was a little bit like, oh, that's surprising. Very hard to describe this. It comes with a separate spoolie, and then the actual applicator is like a weird nubby brush. I don't think I'm going to apply this straight onto my eyebrows. I actually have an angled brush here that I'll probably use. All right, so it says to fill in sparse areas. This is actually a lot sheerer than I thought it would be, so it's a little bit more, it's a little easier to work with because of that. Like, it's not like you're gonna go into your brow and it's gonna be a huge hit of color. All right, I'm not gonna go too much with this, but I'm gonna brush through my brow with a spoolie, and I'm gonna get the product a little bit more in the sparse spots. And apparently this stuff is really easy to remove with just like an oil-based makeup remover. I'm gonna let those dry and move along. Another interesting product is this Shani Shani Eye and Lip Primer. Ooh, I think I took a lot of product there. This is interesting. I'm very curious to see if this keeps my eyeshadow on. This is the LA Girl Eyeshadow Collection in the Nudes Palette. I'm gonna go into the bronze shade, just like sort of smack dab in the middle of the palette. They're a lot sheerer than I expected them to be. I actually might use a different brush, something a little bit more dense. Not a lot of fallout right now, which is nice. I'm going to use 
this kind of purpley shade on the outer corner of that eye just to add a little bit of fun color. I'm going to attempt to do this with the brush that comes with the kit actually. It's a little better. I actually like these little spongy applicator things. Sometimes they do the job kind of like a finger would. All right, so I've got my bronze on my lid. I got my little kind of lilac-y shade. I'm gonna blend. I'm gonna use my good old spongy thing to bring the lilac and mix it with this matte shade under my eye. I feel like this lilac eye is nice with my hair. All right, so that is the eyeshadow done. I'm gonna move on to the other eye now. Magic! The next product on the list is this one from CoverGirl. It is an eyeliner, it's called the Perfect Point Plus. I have the black shade. And because I'm wearing so much eyeshadow, I think I'm gonna stick to wearing this eyeliner just like in my tight line and maybe a little bit on the like diffuse on my lash line, but nothing too crazy because I don't want it to be too intense. All right, so I'm letting that dry. And in the meantime, I'm going to take what got onto my eyelashes and kind of blend it out. The eyeliner from my top lash line's already transferring down here, so we'll see. By the end of the day, I might have a very smoky eye. But, oh my gosh, this blended so well. All right, so the best-selling mas waterproof mascara, it's the Colossal Volume Express Mascara. Not gonna lie, I'm not surprised by this one. Maybelline makes amazing mascaras. I've loved so many over the years. I like this one. It has a nice little big brush. Good mascara, good amount of volume, no complaints. Eyes done. And I'm moving on to lips. So I have two options, the e.l.f. Moisturizing Lipstick and the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. This is like kind of orangey red shade. I'm gonna go with this Ravishing Rose e.l.f. Lipstick. So I actually love this e.l.f. Moisturizing Lipstick formula. They are pigmented, they feel good. They're just very, very nice. So if you're looking, and they're $3, so you really can't go wrong. And that's it. My soft kind of lavender-y, pinky look today. I think the skin looks great. The foundation looks really nice. I think the eyes I'm hoping will last, but all in all, I'm quite pleased with these Amazon bestsellers. So I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day. I will check in with you tonight to let you know how this full face of Amazon bestsellers wore. Hey guys, so it is 11 p.m. I've been wearing this makeup for like over 12 hours. I gotta say that the makeup did hold up for the first, I wanna say, eight hours, and then it started to take a downhill turn. Um, as you can see, the eyeshadow is really creasing. My eyes are very oily, really ate through that. I got some smudging under my eye. My skin looks really oily. I didn't powder again. But I will say the highlighter looks great. The lipstick was beautiful. It's definitely one you have to keep reapplying, but it's lovely, it's hydrating. The foundation still looks fine. Um, it's starting to wear around my nose. Bronzer is still kind of there. Highlighter, boom. Um, mascara seems all right as well, so. Oh, and the brows, the brows, the brows stayed. The brows are great. Let me know what you guys wanna see next or if there's any other retailers that you'd like me to find out the best sellers for and try. Let me know in the comments and I will catch you guys next week. Bye. Thanks so much for watching guys. Let me know what you wanna see next on Beauty With Me in the comments down below and click here to subscribe to Refiner29 and click here to watch another episode. Bye.